Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. How are things going with you? Hopefully that you are still okay. You are still motivated. Even though we haven't met for a few weeks yeah, because of the pandemic. So hopefully that the coronavirus pandemic will be over soon so we can get back to normal. Well, uh, everyone, the last week I gave you five questions to discuss on spider yeah? and i have checked uh, the discussions and thank you very much so uh, that you you were active yeah well even though i have to admit that some of you are not active yet yeah, for those who are not ac active yet so please be active yeah because even though uh, you stay at home it's not the holiday for you uh, okay but it is studying from home it is not a holiday for me either. Uh, it is uh, working from home, or W F H. <laughs> okay, it is a teaching from from home, also for me. <clears throat> okay, everyone, I have given you five questions, uh, and the first uh, question is, yeah. How is presenting different from reading? And is a presentation a learning event for the presenter? Why or why not? Then the, how is business presentation different from academic presentation? And okay, and then number four is why is eye contact mandatory in a presentation? Oh, mandatory means it's a must. Yeah? How can you maintain eye contact? Then a presenter is a slave. What does it mean? Do you agree with the statement? Why or why not? Okay, everyone. So in few weeks, that we are going to learn how to deliver business presentation. Mm, giving presentation actually is not new for you. But what you have done so far is academic presentation. It is not uh, a business presentation. Okay. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Let's see one by one, yeah. Let's see one by one uh, the questions, yeah. The first one is how is uh, presenting different from reading? Okay, all of you think that presenting is different from reading, yeah. But let me tell you further uh, the differences, yeah, are both of them. Yeah, what I obs observe uh, in a student presentation. Uh, before your classmates, yeah. <clears throat> before the audience, uh, when the lecturer observes, well, what you have done, the mostly reading, not presenting, yeah. Why? Because I guess I I observe that most of the presenters read the text. Either from the paper or from the the screen, yeah, uh, from the projected screen. Okay. Well, <clears throat> reading uh, involves uh, complicated senses. Complicated? Why well, it's complicated? Because in reading, the senses use difficult languages, difficult words, difficult terminology. Uh, it is different from uh, presenting. Okay, <clears throat> when you give a presentation, you may not read, and then you may not uh, use difficult sentences, difficult words, difficult terminologies. But your presentation has to be understood by everybody. In in that place yeah. <clears throat> so that's why if you find difficult words difficult or difficult terminologies that you have to make them uh, understood you can paraphrase for example when you say i'd like this to have an overseas study so instead of saying overseas study you can uh, say study in another country yeah or study abroad okay <clears throat> that's uh, how to make it 
easier. <coughs> well, <coughs> and next one, uh, reading <coughs> usually static. Yeah, static. Well, stay in one place, and the eyes are glued to the text. Yeah. Uh, no eye contact or limited eye contact, but in presenting, when you give presentation, then you have to be dynamic. You may not stand still in one place, yeah? What up? You have to uh, move here and there, okay, to come closer to the audience, yeah, and to speak to the audience uh, in the front row, at the back row, and so on. <clears throat> Well, and then you have to uh, maintain eye contact. You may not just uh, speak to yourself or read from the screen now. Yeah. Well, that's <clears throat> that's why uh, presenting is different. It's different from from reading. And then number two is a presentation and learning event for the presenter. Right. Almost all of you think that a presentation is learning event for the presenter. It may be right if you are still in campus learning how to do it, probably, yeah? But <clears throat> let me tell you that presentation is not a learning event for the, audi uh, for the presenter, but it is a learning event for the, for the audience. Why? In a presentation events, whether it is a business presentation or academic presentation, the audience will come to you to learn from you, to listen to, to you. Uh, audience thinks that you know anything, you know everything. Yeah, you are the source of knowledge. You are the source of skills, and so on and so forth. So, what's the implication of this? That when you have to give a presentation, that you have to be confident that. Uh, you know that the audience do not know, yeah. That the audience will learn from you. Okay, so uh, there's no reason for you to get nervous, even though being nervous is normal. But because you know that audience will learn from you, okay, and you know, and the audience do not know that you have to be confident. Yeah, <clears throat> and how is business presentation different from academic presentation? Well, <clears throat> even though both of them are presentations, but they are very much different. In academic presentation, I probably have uh, ever been to a, a presentation events or seminars or conferences, national and international. <clears throat> well, in academic presentation, the time is usually fixed, yeah? So even though often times that in a conferences, well, the time is limited for the presenter to present because uh, what well, the committee has to accommodate uh, presenters to present, yeah? But in fact, the most normal one, the most common one that in the academic presentation, it lasts for 40 or 45 minutes in which uh, 20 minutes for presenting and 25 minutes for uh, question and answer, yeah? <clears throat> well, but you know, in business presentation, it uh, can be very short, it can be very long, it depends on the complexity, yeah? So the length depends it, uh, on complexity. Sometimes it lasts for very short, yeah? Sometimes it lasts uh, very long, but the other difference is uh, in uh, academic presentations, so the interruption has to be avoided because it is annoying, it's disturbing, it's disturbing. So at the beginning, so they have to tell the, the audience that uh, they have to uh, hold the presentation until question and answer session. Yeah? But in business presentation, uh, the presenter usually say to the audience, if you have something to ask, if you have something uh, not clear, 
well while uh, i'm presenting you please don't hesitate to uh, to interrupt so interruption is encouraging business presentation yeah well we can talk further uh what is it yeah in details how to give a business presentation later on yeah okay next one why is eye contact mandatory in a presentation remember that one of the notions in the presentation is if you if there is no eye contact there will not be any ear contact so it's important that the audience uh, listen to you yeah so if the audience do not listen to you it's not the audience mistakes but it's your mistakes yeah. for example because you don't uh, maintain eye contact so these things happens for example a group of uh, the group of audience in the back here yeah, uh, turn to gossiping talking about something else while you're presenting then it is not the mistakes of the audience but it's your mistakes your so the the way you you're presenting uh, make them what is it disinterested probably so they turn to gossiping yeah <clears throat> well <clears throat> so another example is uh, probably a group of audience uh, not far from you uh, falls asleep okay <laughs> and even snoring well it's not a mistake of the audience but that your that's your mistake well the way uh, you uh, give presentation is boring so <clears throat> well yeah <clears throat> this is uh, the importance of eye contact so anytime when you have to give a uh, presentation that you have to maintain eye contact because no eye contact no no ear contact well in the presentation theory when uh, groups of audience uh, fall asleep or turns to gossiping or even play games for example while you are presenting yeah mm, okay uh, we can say that you have lost the audience yeah well and then that's not the audience mistakes but that's your mistakes yeah okay next one uh a presenter is a slave what does it mean do you agree with the statement why well the, i see that most of your responses on spada think that a presenter is not a slave it's nothing to do with the slavery yeah that's correct but uh, that way yeah <clears throat> well let me tell you yeah, this is the important notion in the presentation okay <clears throat> a presenter is a slave that's right what i mean uh, by this that yes when you are giving a presentation you are the slave uh, it means that you have to uh, do your best to satisfy if you are slave your king or queen and who is the king who is the queen in the presentation event that's your audience so you have to do your best to satisfy your audience to do your best that you have to prepare your best you have to give a, a good technique yeah uh, to deliver the presentation so the audience will not fall asleep the audience will not turn to gossiping and so on and so forth you will not uh, lose your audience okay that's what is meant by 
the notion that the presenter is a slave and then uh, the audience is a king or or queen yeah okay everyone <clears throat> then uh, you can see the picture here <clears throat> see this is a present uh, presentation event and there are five uh, statements so questions so uh, what mm -hmm. well probably you can think about why it happens yeah a what i'm sorry i cannot say this yeah but you can read yeah what on earth is uh, talking about i have no idea the one uh, maybe some audience say this. Do you know why? Yeah, probably because of because the <coughs> the presenter is not clear what uh, he is talking about actually. Yeah, maybe the presenter is not clear in the opening of the presentation. And B, hey Sarah, wake up, it's finished. Well, Sarah, or maybe other audience get bored with the presentation, see? Yeah? So, some of the audience fall asleep because uh, mm, bad delivery. Yeah. Read that, they can't read that. I need a pair of binoculars. Do you know why? So you have to pay attention to what what it's written on the screen. It's too small. It's not visible to the audience. You have to make sure that what you have on the screen is visible to everybody. Speak up. I can't hear a thing. Do you know why? Probably the presenter's voice is too soft. So what's the implication? You have to make sure that your voice is audible to everyone. Yeah. Uh, if you you are presenting in the classroom, so you have to make sure that your voice is audible for everyone in the classroom. Yeah. And the last one, summarize for main points. I only noticed one. Have I been asleep? Again, this is also a problem in presentation. Why it happens? Yeah. Yeah, because it's not clear you know, in the body of the presentation. Yeah. And it's not clear at the beginning of the presentation. Of the presentation. Well, <clears throat> uh, the implication for you, so presentation has to be well structured. It's clear from the beginning. It's clear in the middle. In the clear in the closing. Everyone, here are the notions of the presentation to think about. It is a learning event for the audience. They have explained to you. Yeah? So audience come to you to learn from you, not the other way around. A presentation, uh, a presenter is a slave, audience is a king. Okay, so the implications is you as a presenter, you have to do your best to satisfy your your audience. Yeah. Okay, presenting uh, presenting is not reading. I have told you the differences. Yeah, uh, presenting involves uh, easy language, yeah. language that is understood. And understood uh, to the whole audience. Yeah. Okay, and then you have to paraphrase. You have to substitute the difficult uh, words, uh, difficult terminologies, terminologies with the easy ones. Yeah, and um, and also you have to be dynamic. Yeah, you may not just stand still and so. On. And so on and so forth. Do you have to maintain eye contact? Yeah. No eye contact, no ear contact. Yeah. Okay. So you have to make sure that 
you maintain eye contact with everybody, with all the audience. Yeah, you have to learn how to do it. Huh? You have to learn the dynamism when you are giving a presentation. Okay. And this is one thing. The purpose of the presentation is a promise. Yeah. So, <clears throat> uh, what makes audience listen to you, pay attention to you, because the audience knows that the presentation will be uh, useful for them. So, it's okay for them to learn their ears and eyes to pay attention to your presentation. So, to make uh, audience um, listen to you, so at the beginning, you have to reveal the purpose of the presentation. And it is promised at the end of the presentation, then you have to ask the audience we have, whether you have to or whether you have uh, captured promise or not. Yeah. Okay. If no, it means that your presentation is not successful. Everyone, the next topic to discuss on SPADA, it deals with the opening. The beginning of the presentation. So I have questions for you to discuss on Spada. What are the purposes or the functions of opening? What are the elements of opening? And mentions the stages of opening a business presentation and give examples of each stage. What are the functions of presentation structure? And how can you tell that? To your audience what to do to avoid interruption in academic presentation or encourage interruption in business presentation everyone I hope that everyone can be active uh, everyone has to contribute in the discussion well and make sure that you keep learning because giving presentation is a must for you yeah for your career later on after you graduate from english department of our beloved university well that's all for today thank you very much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh